This is Tank's Vlog for March 6, 2018, wrapping up today in Sports Championship Week, continued on Monday. The truth is in the people of Iona. Iona, that's right, is going to the second straight tournament, beating Fairfield. They got a strong game off the bench from Roland Griffin, scoring 29 points. Meanwhile, in the Southern Conference, UNCG is UNC go, go, go. As UNC Greensboro beat East Tennessee for their first berth in the NCAA tournament since 2001. So that's a pair of bids that were clinched on Monday. There's going to be a bunch of bids up on Tuesday, including the Colonial, Horizon, Northeast Conference, Summit League, and the West Coast Conference. And these, this is where the true heart and spirit of Championship Week are, is these one-bid conferences. In the NHL on Monday, it was the Penguins putting out the Flames 4-3 in overtime. The Sabres beat the Maple Leafs 5-3. The Senators stunned the Stars in overtime 3-2. It was the Oilers 4-3 winners over the Coyotes in overtime. And the Canucks down the Islanders 4-3 in overtime. Quick look at the NHL standings. This week, in the Atlantic Division, the Lightning continue to lead with NHL best 94 points. The Bruins have won three straight or 88 points in second position, while the Maple Leafs are in third or 85. In the Metropolitan Division, it's the Capitals on top with 81 points, the Penguins in second and 80, and the Flyers in third at 79. The wild card standings in the East sees the Devils with 74 points. They've lost three straight. It's getting tight. It's getting real tight. The uh, Blue Jackets are in second. They'd make the playoffs right now with 71 points. The Florida Panthers have six straight wins. They are all of a sudden right in the thick of things. One point back of a playoff spot at 70 points. Hurricanes have 69 points. The Fading Islanders have lost 7 straight or at 67 points. The Rangers, meanwhile, at 66. The Red Wings at 62. The Canadiens at 61. The Senators, 56. And the Sabres in dead last place with 53. In the Central Division, the Predators have the best record in the West at 93 points. Followed by the Jets in second position at 87 and the Wild in third to 81 in the Pacific. The Vegas Golden Knights are still on top with 89 points. The Sharks are second at 79 and the Ducks are third and 78. The Wild Card standing sees the Stars with 80 points. Followed by the Kings at 77. And then from there it's the Avalanche are only one point back of a playoff spot at 76. The Blues have 75 points. The Flames, with four straight losses, are at 74 points. The Blackhawks got a wild, long, long stretch if they need to get back in it with 64 points. The Oilers at 60. The Canucks are 59 points. And the Coyotes are dead last place with 51 points. NBA on Monday. Uh, Cavaliers beat the Pistons 112-90. Big game by LeBron James. Pacers edged the Bucks 92-89. It was the Heat eclipsing the Suns 125-103. The Celtics without Kyrie Irving cruised past the Bulls 105-89. It was the Spurs 198 winners over the Grizzlies. The Jazz hit the right notes to beat the Magic 94-80. And the Blazers edged the Lakers 108 to 103. Quick look at the NBA standings. Sees 
the Raptors maintaining the top spot in the East by a game and a half over the Celtics. The record of 45 and 17. The Cavaliers are in third at 37 and 26. The Pacers at 37 and 27 are in fourth. The Wizards are in fifth at 36 and 28. The 76ers are in sixth with 34 and 28. The Heat are 34 and 30 in seventh. The Bucks are 34 and 30. And they have a five game lead over the Pistons for the last playoff spot. The Pistons, Hornets following up at 28 and 36. The Knicks and everyone else that's out of it. The Knicks, Bulls, Nets, Magic, and Hawks all have 40 plus losses. Out West, the Rockets have 15 straight wins. Best record in the NBA at 49-13. Lead the Warriors by a half game. You got the Trailblazers now in third place. With their uh, recent surge at seven straight wins. The Pelicans have won eight straight or in fourth place. Followed by the Spurs. The Timberwolves. The Thunder. And the Nuggets. And let me tell you what. It's getting tight in the West. Because ninth place is the Clippers. They're 34 and 28. They're only a half point game behind the Nuggets. And there's only three games separating third from ninth in the West. So out West is where the true action and excitement is going to be the rest of the season. We got the uh, Jazz also in the race at 34 and 30. They're just a game and a half out of a playoff spot. And then the Lakers are basically out of it, 28 and 35. And the rest of the West has all 40 plus losses. The Kings, the Mavericks, the Suns, and the Grizzlies. Today's three stars are Brendan Lepsik of the Canucks, who had two goals, including a game winner in overtime, recently acquired from the, grid, from the uh, Golden Knights to help the Canucks beat the Islanders. LeBron James, 31-7-7, leave the Cavaliers past the Pistons, and Hassan Whiteside of the Heat had 24 points, 14 rebounds. Today's birthday shout-out goes to Mr. Norker himself, Shaquille O'Neal, who turns 45. And we take a look back to 1983. This week, today, 1983, Sunday, March 6th, that year, we saw spring football being born with the first week of games in the USFL. Check out the full story at Barstool Sports and Sports Encyclopedia, where sports history lives. Good day.